subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. The UN Human Rights Chief Michelle Bachelet has put the spotlight on the billion dollar industry of artificial intelligence and facial recognition by calling for a moratorium on the sale and use of AI in systems that pose serious risk to human rights until adequate safeguards are put in place. The Human Rights Chief also said last week, if an AI application cannot be used in compliance with international human rights law, then it should be banned. The warning from UN comes as even India adopts the use of AI in cases like facial recognition. So here's a look at what is AI and why there is a debate around its use. First of all, let's start at the beginning, that is what is AI? AI as you might be knowing by now stands for artificial intelligence and is the automation of machines or computers to mimic human capacity for analyzing information and making rational decisions just as a human would. Computers are programmed to make decisions and analyze data in real time by an AI algorithm. What is an AI algorithm? Well, in this case, an algorithm is simply a set of instructions a computer can follow. The human has to first correctly develop the algorithm though. Only then can the computer be automated to do the job correctly on its own. This means if you created a faulty algorithm because either you used incomplete data or biased data or made an algorithm based on faulty assumptions, then your computer will also make faulty decisions. And why the use of AI? Well, the benefit of using AI is that computers can be programmed to analyze more data from much more a larger number of sources and analyze all of this data faster than a human can and make as good a decision as a human expert would. So this US-based public policy think tank Brookings has some numbers on how AI can benefit us. Citing Pricewaterhouse, Brookings says AI brings tremendous opportunities for economic development. AI may increase China's GDP by $7 trillion by 2030 and create a $900 billion increase in GDP in the rest of Asia outside of China, which is not as much as China, but it's still a considerable number. However, as the use of AI increases, even here in India, for example, only last month it was reported that nearly 500 cameras were set up for facial recognition at railway stations in Maharashtra and Gujarat, the debate around AI use is intensifying. One reason the UN has said to pause the use of AI is because AI plays a critical role in deciding critical things like who gets access to public services, who gets a job, and also because AI algorithms used by tech giants like Google and Facebook decide what information we consume and how we react to a certain topic. Here are some examples where decisions made by machines coupled with human bias can lead to discrimination. In India, legal think tank Vidhi Centre for Legal Policy issued a paper last month saying, in Delhi, the use of FRT, that is facial recognition technology, by the police is likely to disproportionately affect Muslims because of the over-policing of some areas with significant Muslim populations combined with police biases. In September this year, Facebook apologized because its AI system had labeled black men as primates in a video. A few years back in 2018, Amazon stopped using an AI-based recruiting tool that was biased against women, penalizing job applications that had words like women's or mentioned women's colleges. To conclude, the UN Human Rights Chief claims the power of AI to serve people is undeniable, but so is AI's ability to feed human rights violations. Action is needed now to put human rights guardrails on the use of AI for the good of all of us. There you have it. What do you think of this call to a moratorium on artificial intelligence? Do you feel AI is good or is it bad? Or do you think there is a mixed case here? Let us know in the comment section below. For the print, this is Regina Mehdukula Surya.